The Pontiac Silverdome, Thanksgiving Day, the Chicago Bears against the Lions. All red is the move man, Kramer, back to throw it. Kramer, back to throw it. Here comes the blitz, he just does get rid of it, but does, and this is Ricky Pro. To the 15, 14, and knocked out of bounds. So this whole right side was bottom. This is Raymond Harris. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Bear. The 53 yard gain from Kramer to Pro is what set it up. Bobby Ross said that's one of the things he had to learn. Mitchell looks and throws to Moore, who can't stay in bounds. He's probably thinking that he's going to have another guy right there to make the tackle. Three wide receivers this time. Two of them to the left. Here's Mitchell. Screen pass coming, and the Bears played it very well. Remember what a great football name that is, and what a player he was. Oh, look at this one. Wide open is Ricky Pro to the 30. To the 10. Ricky Pro touchdown, Bears. How did he get so open? Well, it was a double zone. The corner let him go. We catch the longest pass of his career. This is Glenn Milborn at about the six. Out of the pack is Milborn. Milborn to the 40, still on his feet. And returns to the Bear 24 yard line. At some point, he is going to break some. Third and eight. The Bears do not blitz. Pass is incomplete. Mitchell for Morton. From 40 yards out, Hanson will try to put the Lions on the board. And he does. Touchdown to Ricky Prohl. Another long gainer to Prohl. Set up the other. And Kramer back to throw. Up the middle. For <laughs> Third and short. Autry. I don't know about oh, that. He Autry. went sideways. Yep. A two and ten record. I don't think I'd run Autry again on it though. I don't think so. That's Raymond Harris. They tried Kramer. Ooh, they're short <laughs> by a length. Or over by a length. Over by a length. He's put I mean he's really put his whole life into this. He really has. Look at this stance, Pat. Jager. That's hooking in there. That's what you see on, on this thing. When you get a kickoff cover team going down against a kickoff return, you're going to see a lot of Hitsville. At the five is Milborn. Right there. Again, he's got some room. Again, he cuts back against the kicker. And again, he gets across midfield. So when they win five of those things, they always win wherever he's been. Bears coming on a blitz. Mitchell, read it, pass is dropped, incomplete. Jet. High, good kick again. They signal fair catch. The ball bounds toward the end zone. And the Lions are down it at the one. What a kick by John Jet. Reggie White, one of the best that's ever played. Did we give him the turkey or he took it? No, just one leg. We gave it to him. Todd Sauerbrunn back there. And the Lions do not try to block it. And this is a rocket ship of a kick. As it goes about 75, 80 yards in the air. Milburn again. Now that was a boomer, huh? Yeah. Herman Moore is a move man. Pass is complete to Morton. Dave Williams, Thanksgiving Day, 1980. Opening kickoff in overtime, 95 yards to Pater. First player ever to return a kickoff for a TD in overtime. And that Bears victory back to Pat and John. Yes, I remember that game. This is Barry Sanders. That's right. And his name is Jim David. And he was a tough guy. Here's Mitchell. Out to Sanders. In the open field, two of his patented moves. Because there's no one up pressure right now, so he has time to, to think about those moves. <laughs> you can't be embarrassed when you miss a tackle of Barry Sanders. On first down, it's Morton to the seven. Mitchell up under the center calling the play. Second down and goal. Mitchell to Moore.
touchdown. Yeah, that's the one that I was talking about. You use Herman Moore's height, and you just throw it up there where he can get it. Going to jump ball. Why don't we do something over there? We can do it. We, we've done it before. At least until they stop it. There it is right there. Yep. And the pass to Chris Penn. Darnell Autry is the deep back. All red was the man on the move. Kramer gets it to Penn. Third down, two tight ends. Kramer back to throw, fires outside to Ryan Whitnight. His field goal is good. So he missed the tackle. The parade passed him by, and then he got knocked down and out of order. Right. Mitchell to Morton. Shot before halftime. They have one timeout left. Mitchell back to throw it. To Moore. Good catch. Second and six at the Bear 40. Mitchell gets to Sanders. Sanders has got some room to operate. Barry Sanders inside the 10. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Can he accelerate? is caught by Ricky Prohl. You were going to do something, you take a shot over here. Eric Kramer's thrown the ball well. From behind, strip. Ball's loose. The Lions obviously saying we've got it. Barry Sanders. The leader in the NFC Central, nine and three, Minnesota Tampa Bay, eight and four, with Vardell in front of him. And Mitchell will throw. Herman Moore comes down with the ball inside the five. That's good coverage. And Scott Mitchell makes a decision. First and goal. Mitchell scrambles out of the pocket and gets that knocked out of bounds. Mitchell. Incomplete intended for Herman Moore. Third and goal with the four. I would have given it to him on second down, though, too. He doesn't get the ball. And they don't Mitchell get a goal. first down. And Mitchell goes down. They're going to have to settle for the field goal attempt. Carl Simpson, one of the better kickers. With a lot of power. First and ten, Detroit. Mitchell back to throw. Gets it outside to Herman Moore. Moves back to the inside, then back outside. He's handled his side of the line very well today, both on run and pass. Bear Blitz coming. Mitchell. Going deep. He's got a man wide open. Johnny Morton from Scott Mitchell. He just pulled away from the pack. Third and about eight. Here comes the blitz. You saw Kramer pointing to it. The ball's loose. Looks like Detroit recovered. Yes, they did. Like Mitchell's changing the play. The Bears show blitz. Sanders gets the carry. Big hole there for Barry Sanders. Sanders again. Shakes another. Barry Sanders touchdown is second of the day. It's amazing. Just amazing. And he's the most unaffected guy by it. For what? I mean, I mean, guys just miss him. But I mean, he sees everything. He knows what everyone's doing. He had a straight arm there on Marty Carter. And watch how he waits there. There's patient. He waits. Set or tied today, the fifth 1,500 yard plus for Barry Sanders. He has just moved into second place on the all time list. Ahead of Eric Dickerson. And just behind the great Walter Payton. These fans are giving Barry Sanders and the Detroit Lions a standing ovation. Tyrone Hughes with some room, and Hughes has only the kicker to beat. He slowed him down enough. They're two out of nine on third down. Three wide receivers. Proles in the slot left. Kramer 
Just has to fire it. Get those guys blocked, and, and it's the same thing here today. <laughs> Mitchell to Morton. Pass is picked off by Tom Carter. And Carter, with the interception, gets to the 33-yard line. Against the zone, that corner is key in your drop. And you don't stop. Kramer down by Scroggin. Jager two for two. No good. Third and ten. Three wide receivers. Mitchell gives to Sanders. And Barry Sanders comes out of the pack. Rivers with the deep back. Here's Mitchell back to throw it. It's a DeMore. Herman Moore. Mitchell to Sanders. Barry Sanders. <laughs> Did Herman Moore get a block oh. there? 34-20, the Lions lead, and here's Sanders again. Sanders will score his third of the day. He is absolutely amazing. What do you want? What do you want to do with those grapes? With the, no, 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 the grapes are gone, and then I'm going to eat the turducken with anyone who wants to go on the way to Kansas City. Metzelar. First and ten Lions at the Bear 38. Mitchell. Wide open is David Sloan. Sloan. You know how much longer he was going to play, and he says, How many more games we have left this year? This is Rivers. He's into the end zone. Well, that's a play that's been good to, to the Lions today. Now the offensive line of the Lions is worn down. And Barry Sanders has really worn him down. Autry's behind Stentrum. Well, oh, there'll be another oh. touchdown. Tracy Scroggins picked it off in the air, and the Lions go into the 50s. Not say Barry Sanders, so I hope he doesn't leave before we give them the turkey leg. Stentrum's pass caught by Penn. So they made the big trade for yeah. and not even active. Whoa. He was supposed to be the number one guy. The ball came loose and the Lions get it back. So this is a Lions day today. Rivers. First down. More. Rivers. It is ready on the sideline as Detroit. Destroys Chicago 55 to 20. So stick with us for the Turkey Leg Awards. 